Our big story today, we're once again picking up the issue of the state of healthcare in our country. It's supposed to be a noble profession, one that saves lives. But recent incidents have led to people questioning the very business of healthcare. In news report after news report, the greed and inhumanity of hospital management stands exposed. Whether it's a case of the parents who were charged 16 lakh rupees for dengue treatment in Fortis Hospital or the damning CCI report that actually shows how Max Hospital allegedly profited by selling syringes to its patients at double the market price. All of this really begs the question that why shouldn't these hospitals please patients or be regulated? Let's in fact first look at the recent report that has put another Max Hospital under fire. This time, it's the Super Speciality Hospital in Patparganj, Delhi. An investigation by the Com Competition Commission of India actually reveals that the hospital is allegedly selling syringes at double the market price, leaving the hospital with a profit of as much as 525%. Apart from this, the hospital, the report also says that patients are forced to buy medicines from the hospital's pharmacy alone, which allows them to make another 500% profit. We are now, in fact, still awaiting a response from Max Hospital over the CCI report. But let's go across to Apurva, who's joining me live at this point. Apurva, help us understand what really does the CCI report say? If you can take us through the important points that it mentions over this a profitability issue, uh, uh, the unethical profitability issue that uh, Max Hospital is concerned with. Well, this was an investigation that was conducted by the Deputy Director General of the Competition Commission of India, the CCI. In fact, it was in 2015 that the CCI had ordered, uh, directed, in fact, the DG to conduct an investigation after a complaint, uh, after it was hearing a complaint of Vivek Sharma, who said that he had, in fact, uh, purchased a syringe, a disposable syringe from uh, Beckton Dixon India Limited at an MRP from the pharmacy of the Max Hospital in Patpat Ganj, New Delhi, at Rupi is 19.50 while the same syringe was in fact available outside at a market rate of 11.50 now looking at all this the cci had in fact uh, asked the dg to uh, come up with an investigative report to investigate this entire matter and the revelations that uh, the report now has is absolutely shocking and in the lines of how the private healthcare facilities are charging exorbitantly now let me just quickly take you through the main points of the report as it goes on to say that max hospital in Patpa New Delhi actually makes a profit of almost 525% for all these disposable syringes for inpatients. Now, more importantly, it also goes on to say that the hospital actually uses the abusive position and forces uh, the inpatients to go to its pharmacy while the crisis and it also holds the prices are double or triple than the existing market price outside. And it also says that this practice of overcharging and uh, overpricing and this differential pricing is quite prevalent in all those 14 uh, max groups hospitals. Now, uh, let me just quickly take you through what the report exactly points out in terms of this particular hospital in question, which is Max Hospital Patpat Ganj. It goes on to say that the hospital was acting as a trader, thereby it purchases blister pack syringes from the market and sold it to inpatients at unfair and excessive prices. Now, another important aspect to be noted here and the report says that similar or identical products available in open market at discounted rates and since the hospital insists on pharmacy for its inpatients, it was clear instance of abuse of the dominant position and spatial monopoly enjoyed by the hospital in earning super normal profits. And not just this, uh, we understand how the consumables, the medical consumables and these disposable consumables of the hospital in fact constitute approximately 40 to 50 percent of the inpatients bill, clearly highlighting how the exorbitant bill is actually given to the uh, patients of uh, the uh, uh, patients who actually go to the hospital and in clear violation of a lot of acts there of the competition act of 2002 now more importantly while this come uh, while this report is out and it has been given to the commission the commission is currently going through this report and it will individually ask the respondents in this case which is max hospital and the uh, beckton dixon india limited uh, the other uh, stakeholder in this particular case to come up with their reply to justify the kind 
kind of allegations that has been leveled against them and only then will it take a very concrete action and then we will get to know if any action will at all be taken against any of the respondents in this case and if at all any kind of accountability will be fixed back to right uh, apurva have you tried to reach out to max hospital in terms of getting a response from them on this particular report uh, what have they said We will try to get in touch with Max officials, and we are uh, still awaiting a response from them. We have asked for an official response on the findings of the CCI, and we are still uh, right now awaiting a formal uh, response there from the Max uh, officials on uh, what they uh, have to say about this entire overpricing. And this is an inquiry that was conducted by the Competition Commission of India, so it is very important right now to really understand this entire concept of overpricing, which has been a problem. and we are seeing it's not just max but every hospital and that is something now every big uh, right. private healthcare facility this is something that is now coming out in the open and as you pointed out this is a concern for every person who actually goes right. to these hospitals and now there are also questions being raised or should or not now there should be a regulatory body to look at these and a cap on pricing specifically when it comes to these hospitals because they have been charging exorbitantly back to you absolutely apurva thanks very much for getting us those details that's as far as max hospital is concerned and the new development on another max hospital in patparganj but let's now go across to the other developing story which is a fortis hospital now after we saw strong words coming in from health minister anil vij yesterday indicating that the, uh, the several lapses and serious negligence that actually led to the death of 7 year old dengue patient adya singh also indicating that an fir against the hospital would be filed on charges of death due to negligence now in the latest development speaking exclusively to mirror now haryana health minister anil vij said that the government will no longer be associated with fortis hospital it has actually cancelled its empanelment the minister has also said that the state will be coming up with stricter laws to deal with private hospitals in such cases let's first listen in to what the health minister had to say yes indeed a strong decision by the state health minister is categorically said that the impanelment of the fortis hospital would be cancelled and it is just matter of hours the first fir would be registered by the state government we have health minister anil vij with us Sir, first of all what is the decision you've taken now now we have decided to lodge an fir Uh, against the fortis hospital and also uh, we have given a notice to cancel the blood bank lessons because they have overcharged in this case what about the impanelment sir regarding impanelment i have ordered that the their impanelment should be cancelled because they are overcharging now the parents say that uh, the fortis hospital tried to buy them they were offered money and they said that uh, the haryana government will do nothing do you think that the fortis government uh, fortis hospital is over confident and you will really set an example out of this sir no they are mistaken that we, we will not do anything uh, we have already initiated actions we have given them notice for not intimating the state government of the notifiable disease and for that we have already issued notice we have already issued notice for the cancellation of the blood bank we are going to lodge an fir against them for uh, criminal negligence by withdrawing um, the ventilator from the patient and not providing them oxygen or ambu bag what about the ordinance you were saying that we'll bring an ordinance also that will help the patient what is the ordinance sir so we are bringing ordinance on clinical establishment act within this week everything has been prepared and it has been vetted by the legal department all right we've also got vishal who's joining us live at this point vishal we just heard what uh, the health minister there had to say but uh, one question i had specifically with regards to the other claim that uh, adya's father made saying that the, the hospital tried to actually bribe him to in an attempt to hush up the matter and the second issue as far as the uh, the other in discovery of forging the signature of the parents has uh, come out on these two points uh, has the health, health minister said anything
See, the health minister was very specific uh, yesterday also he said that on the forging charges and also on medical negligence both are the violation of indian penal code so under the necessary sections the FIR would be registered. On the issue of bribery by the Fortis Hospital, he said that it is between the parents and Fortis Hospital. But if the parents really go in for registering an FIR, they approach the Gurugram police, they will help the, uh, the parents. That is what the health minister said. He said that they have to really stand their ground and the health department and the health minister would stand by with the patients and the parents. He said that he will really make out of a, a, an example out of this whole episode so that on another term, nobody really suffers because of this. He said that he's already cancelled the impediment of the Portis government. The letter has to be issued. And also an FIR would be registered in a day or two, just matter of hours. And then they will ask for the cancellation of lease of also the Fortis Hospital. So he's really going out hard on the Fortis Hospital, categorically saying that the government is for the patients, is with the victim. And they will do whatever is necessary, whatever they can do under the provisions of the law to basically teach all the private hospitals a lesson and also an ordinance would be brought out by the Haryana government. This would be probably first of its kind where they will really have certain control over these private hospitals so that the patients are not made to suffer. Right now there are very few laws basically by which the, the health department can intervene into these private hospitals. Right. But after this ordinance and then there will be a law which would be brought out in the Haryana uh, Vidhan Sabha, he says they will have more control over these hospitals. All right, we leave it there. Thanks, Vishal, for getting us uh, all those details. That's as far as what the health minister has planned in to check these kind of incidents happening in private hospitals, at least in the state of Haryana. On that note, let's slip into a quick break. We'll continue tracking uh, this story on the other side as well and take up all your calls as well. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching The Big Story and we've been talking about the issue of the two hospitals, Fortis and Max Hospital, that we've been tracking, that have been developing every day, coming out with new in, uh, angles coming out with Haryana crackdown or Haryana government's crackdown on Fortis Hospital cancelling their empanelment and a Competition Commission of India report on Max Hospital on how it is unethically profiteering at the expense of their patients. Uh, let's, uh, in fact, we've got a caller calling us, uh, Sudhir Pandey from Mumbai. Uh, thanks for calling in, Sudhir. Uh, tell us, what would you like to say? Actually, what I would like to say is see more and more news is coming about the malpractices going on in the hospital of uh, fleecing the poor patients. Yes. Because when some patient is there in the hospital, the, uh, their relatives and all, they are in a very disabled condition, upset and sad, and that time they count on the doctor for everything. And this is, they don't have any medical knowledge and they uh, just want to save their patient. So uh, what I would like to say, actually, in, in case somebody find that some unscrupulous activities are going on by by the hospital staff, they should be a, there should be a panel of doctors which is empowered by the government. Right. So they can call they can call them up and they can call them up and they can see that you know nothing wrong. Absolutely. They are not being charged wrongly. That's all I can say. A absolutely, Sudhir. And that's really the question we are raising that uh, the this kind of there needs to be some sort of regulation because the incident after incident is coming to light on how hospitals seem to be uh, indulging in unethical practices. Uh, we will try and get you more voices as well. Take your calls on uh, the on the big story here. Uh, two incidents that we are two instances we are tracking one of Fortis Hospital and one of Max Hospital. In fact, the recent report from Comp Competition Commissions of India alleges that Max Hospital in Patparganj has been indulging in unethical profits, uh, making profits of as much as 500% on syringes, 525% on syringes and more than 500% on medicines. And we've got another caller, Mahesh from Coimbatore on the phone line with us. Uh, Mahesh, uh, go ahead. Tell us, what would you like to say? Yeah, ma'am, uh, good evening. Uh, see, as far as private hospitals are concerned, they have got licensed looters and uh, the charges they make is something mind-boggling. I personally have an experience. I have gone there for a stomachache 
the doctor immediately took up the lab sheet and he started ticking up all the checkups which has to be done. Only one column he had left. That mm. was the pregnancy test. Thank God I was saved. Otherwise, I would have to undergo that pregnancy test also. So, and the end of the day, there was nothing but they were interested me to get admitted. But I said, no, we, I came back. That the local doctor had an injection purposely all right. Right. But here, it is looting and we have already lost a child. Right. And I, I would like to tell all the viewers, whenever next time you go to a big hospital, better you carry your house documents or some other documents because we might run short of money. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Uh, thanks, Mahesh, for calling us and sharing your view. Uh, I'm also going to go across Dr. K.K. Agarwal from the Indian Medical Association who's with us on the phone line. Thanks, Dr. Agarwal, for joining us. You know, I want to get your view specifically on this uh, report from the Competition Commissions of India, which alleges the kind of unfair profiteering that is being indulged in with respect to syringes and with respect to medicine. We're talking about as much as more than 500% uh, profits that the hospital is making. Uh, this, you know, don't you think this clearly shows that this method of profiteering has actually been institutionalized and this is one instance, perhaps something that's rampant across private hospitals? See, MRP is not decided by the private hospitals. Private hospitals only negotiate as the price of purchasing. The selling price is decided by the MRP, by the company, or by the rules and regulations. Hmm. Hospital will invariably buy, sell it at MRP. If anybody is selling more than MRP, that will be called as profiteering. Whatever, what, at what rate you buy, that will depend upon the amount of things you are buying. And that will uh, the, the depend upon your negotiating powers. So I didn't th think so that the, this issue has to be discussed as a policy by the government. That those, uh, for example, they did the same thing for scent. Mm. Government should look into it. And if they want to do syringes under NLEM, National List of Essential Medicine, they can cap the price. But hospitals are not supposed to charge more than the MRP. That's the main issue. If somebody sells less than the MRP, then you cannot blame the hospital that somebody is selling it less no, than the MRP. No, but this is double the price of the MRP, which is what the CCI report is claiming. This is what I'm talking about is MRP is not decided by the hospital. Therefore, government should look into it hmm. that who is deciding the MRP and who is deciding the selling price. So therefore, this is a matter of policy. Here, you cannot blame the hospital that you have, uh, you have brought it at it. See, buying it will be a negotiating power of the hospital. They may buy the things depending upon their negotiation power, but they cannot sell anything more than the MRP. Who decides the MRP? That's what needs to be done as a policy. Here, I, I am absolutely not, uh, I cannot say that hospitals are doing the wrong thing. The policy is wrong and policies are decided by the government. But Dr. Agarwal, this is a report from the Competition Commission of India. It's from the government report which has called out this uh, profiteering. Yeah. The government should come out and come out the policy of MRP. They should come back and decide. I don't think that the hospital is deciding the MRP. Nobody will, no, but no institution will sell less than MRP. All right, uh, we we'll leave it there, Dr. Agarwal. Thank you so much for joining okay, us. Of course, you. a lot of questions being raised here and uh, need to be answered. But uh, the fact is that there are unethical practices being indulged in by these private hospitals. And there really needs to be some kind of regulation because there are a lot of people who are vulnerable, who go to these hospitals looking for support, looking for help. And in return, if they're getting fleeced, that is seriously not the kind of healthcare system that we need in this country. And this is something that the government really needs to take note of and do some form of regulation so that this does not happen. On that note, that's a wrap on this edition of The Big Story. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow now.